Hello everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial and uh, this is a full stack Laravel and Vue.js application development series. So in this video we will be designing the database and also we will see how, how to uh, create migration and models in Laravel. So let's see what the database structures looks like. We, I'm, I have been using a uh, DB designer. It's really cool uh, application available on online. I really like it. So you can try that as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six tables for our blog. And we have here uh, is a stable full name. We will take full name, email, password, user type. So actually um, for multi auth we will have admin and some editor as well. And then we will have a uh, normal user. So we will store them in here. And then in middle, using middleware, we will uh, differentiate those users and control their activities. And then we will see if you were activated or not. So you have to activate your account using email. And then we, we have an activation code, code and then a social type so that we can know uh, if we have logged in using any social network and the password reset code. And then we have a category and a category has just a category name and the ID. And here we have the main things, the blog. It has an uh, title which has a 60 uh, limit because the title needs to be between 55 to 60 and the post can be maximum of 3000 I don't know slug yeah slug is very important we will use a clean nice URL for our blog routing and user ID yeah definitely we need to know if we have multiple user publishing blogs so we need to know who is the author Featured image we can have or we may or may not have a featured image. Meta description is important for the SEOs and we will just take uh, how many views we got and the post excerpt for showing uh, simple blogs uh, with the text. Okay, that's uh, for the blog and yeah, we will have uh, open graph title as well uh, uh, in the uh, blog page directly inserted. So we don't need to store them in the uh, database. So that's okay. And here uh, one blog can have multiple categories such as for example, we are making this series and this series on Laravel and VJ. So that means if we create a blog on this series, it will have to be under two category. It has to be under um, uh, uh, Laravel and VJS category. So yeah, and okay, I forgot we need to have an icon image for um, for the category so that we can show nice uh, icon image as well. And then we have tags and in this tag, uh, we have tag name, that's all. And yeah, definitely one block can have a lot of tags as well. We will just do that for the SEO benefit. We'll not do so much stuffing, but yeah, we need it. So the, this is so far what we have and I think uh, this will be enough for a blog side and if we think we need much more things than this we will keep adding. Perfect now let's go ahead and create the migrations uh, and the model so we, we can see that the uh, one migration is we users is already added so we will not do that we'll just edit that. So first of all let's create a category blog um, category model so there is a way to create your model and the migration separately but I'm not doing that no one does that I will create them all together. So let's go ahead um, PHP addition make model let's create category first category and create the uh, migration as well. Perfect. So we have category and uh, migration is also created. So here's the category and we can see the category model is already available here. Perfect. So now let's create our uh, tag model. Perfect. So we have the tag model created. Now well, let's create the blog. Perfect. We have the blog alder also created. Now uh, tag blog. Uh, yeah, now we need to see blog tags and uh, and block category. So let's see block tag and let's make it block category. Let's make the model name simple to avoid uh, confusion later. Okay, so I think we have already done the six things and let's go ahead and create our uh, migration. Let's modify our migration file starting from the users. It'll give me a second. I think I should mute the phone as whenever I uh, make videos. Sorry for that. I will keep that on mind. And if you guys have not subscribed my channel or uh, shared my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and share my channel. And if you need any uh, kind of help, so go to my Facebook group that I have created and you can share and ask your question. I will try to solve your question and um, yeah, we'll try to give you time as soon as I find some. 
okay that's perfect let's go ahead and uh, let's modify this user so all we need here is that of uh, this email and password remember to gain I will not do this way uh, the Laravel way I will uh, do in a different way I will show you how to do password reset things cool way and instead of taking for uh, first name last name let's let take the full name uh, to avoid unnecessary columns perfect so full name email password we need to have a user type here and let's take it from here okay let's keep uh, email and password together let's make it to user type and it should have a default value default value user that's all and let's create a few more and is activated okay instead of this uh, let's copy this one string is activated and it should be just a boolean and default let's say it should be just uh, zero because it's not activated by default and let's start with password reset code password reset code and make it nullable I'm not sure if it is written this way I will check if it has an er any error and then I have activation code same it should be nullable and social type this also nullable yeah so that's for the user uh, migration and we can go ahead and um, normally you should do one by one and then you should actually make relationships so that way you can avoid a, a few confusion and few errors and but I'm trying to do as uh, almost everything together so uh, I will not make any relationships uh, here because it will give me error category okay let's go ahead with the category first what create a uh, create category stable so this is the category so let's create table string and what do we have we have we have a category name here and then okay we have category icon image or icon image I can remove this category okay that's all here and then this table is called category text so what I can do have is it should be a string all we need just tag name here that's all and then in this one this one is blog the most important one so here string and this one will be the title and let's go ahead with the uh, post I'm not sure how to okay let's go ahead stream title post okay slug it should be unique because we will be routing with that one mainly so it has to be unique let's see if I have written unique correctly I think so yeah unique and then we have uh, user ID and it will be referencing to um, 
user table but I will not reference from here it's a bad practice you can always uh, define in your migration file like this but it's always irritating to me I will rather define all the things in the um, PHP my admin or as uh, SQL, what do I use actually yeah SQL Pro but it's not a good practice at all you can define it here it's completely up to you and your choice okay we have user ID and we have a featured image including the length and quite a lot of things because I have noticed in from my experience that whatever you even do here you end up messing up with the database not good but yeah when you do bigger project you will definitely end up in this mess okay meta description is important for our SEO and we are going to take the views and that should be an integer integer maybe this is how it's spelled I will make sure if the spelling is correct seems correct okay views um, okay views start from zero actually so let's make it a default to zero and then post excerpt instead of post excerpt here let's have a post excerpt here actually so post excerpt okay perfect so it's okay we have done that create blocks table and category so we have a pivot table because it's really important as well so pivot table uh, what this table block text so okay so we need to have an integer here all I have a relationship so um, which one we are doing we are doing block tag this one tag ID and blog ID so we need to have tag ID if we are new to Laravel so I would like to mention one thing is that uh, your uh, let's say your table name is tags so definitely your model name will be the singular so without an s so here is your model name so if you create a model name with tag it will have a it will create a migration with a, a plural name so it will definitely be text you see so and laravel does a lot of magics automatically for example uh, really uh, re making relationship with the foreign key so it expect uh, with the table name first singular table name and then um, and then the ID so we are trying to make it default so that we don't have to do ourselves and uh, we will uh, let the Laravel handle that so if you are confusing about these things just um, comment your feedback or comment your question or you can comment in at our good Facebook group I will answer okay what I was in block text so definitely this is tag ID and what is our blog name so let's me let me uh, recap for you this is the blog and it is a singular then definitely it's a table will be blocks so okay let me show you one thing if um, model name if model name is um, singular let's say blog then table name or migration will be blocks and if you have you have to use the foreign key of it like this you take the block the singular up to this and then underscore the ID this is how the default things works in Laravel so keep that in mind it will help you blog ID don't misspell that okay copy this part and go here we have a block categories okay so here instead of blog ID is perfect we have a um, block category so we have a category ID yeah you see category ID so we need to take the singular category ID and then blog ID that's perfect for now now let's create the tables and before we create the table we need to have uh, the database configured correctly so database name is Laravel so instead of Laravel let's make it the full stack and we don't have a password so let's create a database first otherwise it will not be able to connect to the database at all and we'll generate some errors one moment my computer is dying uh, for, uh, yeah 
I need to plug that on the charger. Okay, that's perfect. And let's create a new database called Fulsa. That's okay. And then let's run the migration PHP artisan migrate. I hope we don't have a problem. Okay, bull bull doesn't exist. Yeah, so that was I actually uh, doubted. It should be maybe boolean, not a boolean. Is this how we write a boolean? Sorry for my. Yeah, this is how you write it. Let's check it out. Maybe this is the way it is written. There is a lot of different things. Okay, uh, take name does not exist. Oh, surely say shit. This is my bad. And the stream boolean. I might have used something here. Yeah, that's a wrong one. It should be stream and the tag name. Let's check them other things as well from here. Seems okay. Okay, perfect. So it seems all, all the table has been created here. We have the user table, text table, um, and then categories, okay, and then blocks. And what I will be doing here is that the title should be actually the maximum of 60 character. First, let's make it to Okay, post should be text. Maybe I did it wrong. It doesn't matter. I can fix that from here. Let's make it to as much as well, we can write. And post excerpt, let's make it to uh, as text as well. No, it will take much uh, space. Let's see how much length we can have. Maybe 300. And the slug is unique, definitely. Yeah, it is here, k unique and user ID. Uh, I can have a relationship with the user ID, but that doesn't really matter. I don't, I, I will not delete this blog if the user is deleted. So uh, it doesn't really make sense, but we can definitely make a relationship coming here. It's not a big deal. It's really easy. You can make a relationship with your foreign key. So let's make a relation actually. To make a relationship, we ha it has to match correctly. Ah, oh, no. Again, my bad. Sorry, I did some mistake here. It should be int. Of course, with the tent. Tent. And it has to be unsigned. Unsigned means it will not be a negative number. Again, this uh, the views also will not be under negative number. Okay, that seems to be perfect. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and from you know, from next tutorial, I will start creating the code application for the blocks, categories and all these things one by one. I will also have uh, image upload uh, feature then uh, the, yeah, the real development will start from the next video. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that because we really need that to grow and let me know your valuable feedback. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice time.